Israel's Bereshit spaceship crashes on the moon, ending in disaster for the Israeli Space Agency. This is by Syrian McGrath Express UK, and they have an embedded video here of their statement. Uh, they still consider it a success because, of course, Israel is one of the few countries that has reached the moon, orbited and reached the moon. Israel's Bereshit space probe has crashed onto the surface of the moon, the country's space agency says in its statement. There has been much excitement le leading up to this landing, the attempted landing, with the agency tweeting regular updates, but its latest message said, hashtag Bereshit's main engine failed, spacecraft failed landing, appeared to have crashed on the moon's surface. Bereshit marks the Bereshit marks the first time the Israelis have attempted to land a craft on the surface of the moon. It crashed onto the moon today, Thursday, after a series of technical failures during the final descent, thus shattering the hopes of a historic controlled landing on the moon's surface. It was an unmanned robotic lander, and it suffered periodic engine and communications failures during the 21 minutes or so of the landing sequence this is according to the support team. The final maneuver on Wednesday, yesterday brought it into a tight elliptical orbit around the moon. That's about nine to 10 point five, ten and a half miles from the surface at its closest. And from there, it was a short, nail-biting, ultimately disappointing conclusion. The team space IL tweeting via the hashtag Israel to the moon hashtag said, don't stop believing. We came close, but unfortunately did not succeed with the landing process. More updates to follow, they said. Now, after eight years of developing Bereshit, which means Genesis in Hebrew, Bereshit means in the beginning, that's the first words of the Bible, in the beginning, was launched from Florida's Cape Canaveral Friday, January 22nd. It was launched on Elon Musk's SpaceX rocket Falcon 9. Now, if the mission were to be to have been successful, the 160 kilogram unmanned four-legged spacecraft would have been the smallest and the cheapest spacecraft ever to land on the moon, with Israel becoming only the fourth nation to land on the moon after the United States, Soviet Union, and China. Now, I, for one, do not believe China landed on the moon, but that's my personal opinion. From the videos that I saw, I could have done a better job pretending that I landed something in my backyard. But that's my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. Its mission control room was at Israel, Israel Aerospace Industries in Yehud, Israel, and scientists hoped to land its magnetometer, digital time capsule, and laser retro reflector on the moon, as well as a Bible. The time capsule was also on board the lander, which included a picture of Israeli astronaut Ilan Ramon. Uh, he passed away on the space shuttle Columbia in 2003, as well as a lunar library containing 30 million pages on a disk from the U.S.-based Arch Mission Foundation. Mr. Amon's widow, Rona, who was a big supporter of Bereshit, passed away from cancer just a few months ago. Funding for this, in the form of $100 million, came from private donations. It was a fraction of the billions of dollars it has previously cost to get there. The Israeli organization Space IL is being behind this lunar lander, and it has taken several weeks to get from the Earth to the Moon. Uh, that's why it was so cheap. It had to do various... It worked with gravity, actually, to get there. Yigal Harrell, who is the head of Space IL's spacecraft program, said the most significant thing is not to just beca becoming the fourth country to land the Moon, but our desire for young people in Israel to go and learn science. We know that we're a startup nation, and there's a lot of high tech here and that people are our main resource. We want enthusiastic young people's pupils to go and learn engineering, mathematics, physics, and more. The general manager of the space division of Israel, 
Aerospace Industries is Doron Offer, and he said that the craft definitely crashed on the moon surface. And he added, it seems that a failure in our inertial measurements unit caused a chain of events in the spacecraft avionics which cut off the engines and caused us to lose the mission. In the meantime, President, a Prime Minister, that is Benjamin Netanyahu, who was on hand for what organizers had hoped to be a celebration, said, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Yes, that's right. This is on Express UK. I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.